Hey, bruh. We are back with the anime. My first girlfriend is a gal. If you have not seen the first episode, nigga, go back and watch it. We start off with the main character sitting on the bed, reminiscing about how he just pulled a baddie and wondering if it was legit or not. We even get a look at his personalities, right? And they're arguing over, oh, she's playing you, oh, she's not. And then somebody else rolls in, which is a third personality. And he's like, fellas, it don't matter if she playing us or not. We just trying to crack. The next day, he's walking to school and we see him get stopped by his loser low-life virgin ass friends and they apologize saying that they feel like they might have went too far yesterday and asked how it went when he asked out the girl now he said oh it went bad she said she's gonna embarrass him in front of the school start rumors whatever and his friends were like nah bro no matter what that hoe say cuz we got your back but they said it in a much more dweebish loser like way but while all that's going on he gets a text from her and it's a picture of her in bed and instead of being happy for him apparently that pisses these niggas off like bro you got each of them stating their own opinion and then the fat dude is apparently freaking feeling like doctor disrespect he's talking about little girls like what's up with bro we need to go to jail or something cuz anyway after they express their frustrations they call him a traitor for getting punani but then one of his friends are like look bro i can help you with the next step the next step is kissing her and that leads the main character which his name is junichi by the way asking his friend how can he get to that stage and he says i'll teach you in a yoda voice which uh by the way bro just for real life correlation, do not ask a friend who uses a Yoda voice on how to get hoes. 9.5 times out of 10, they don't get hoes either. And then we see the main character's imagination, bro. This man got a worse imagination than the dude from freaking Rent a Girlfriend. Like, bro, he has every porn watcher ever's imagination. Anyway, his friend says the first step is to do karaoke with her, right? Because karaoke is an excuse to actually get down and dirty, and people don't actually use it for the reason that they think. We fast forward to the next day at school, and the main character's thinking, okay, how do I ask my girlfriend out to karaoke? Until a girl walks up to him, wishing him a good morning, and then is like, oh, you need anything, then I can help you, because it look like you're kind of out of it. And then his girlfriend walks up to him, right, puts his arm in her boobs, and is like, hey, my friend, whatever, blah, blah, blah. People are confused on what's going on, and she announces to the whole class that they're boyfriend and girlfriend. After school, he tries to talk to his friends, they ignore him, right, so then he's like, hey, why are y'all ignoring me? He's like, cuz, you got one of the baddest hoes in school why is you trying to hang out with us and they're still bitter that he's getting women and they're not we then see his girlfriend run up and be like okay let's spend some time together after school and then they go outside and the girl's like oh why are y'all holding hands some random girl from episode one so his girlfriend's like oh we're boyfriend and girlfriend and she cries off running so then the main character's like bro what is we finna go do bro what is he doing and she's like we're gonna go somewhere nice and private so we can make all the noise we want and apparently you know he's like oh i'm finna get the cheeks that easy but it turns out she wanted the karaoke also when they get in the karaoke room i forgot what she was reaching for but she was reaching right in front of bro face and her boobs was waving in front of him which caused him to think of more adult film scenarios that could possibly happen but it turns out she really just wanted to go there and sing she then wonders why he hasn't picked a song yet right is he nervous whatever blah 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 whole time he was really just imagining smashing her but he tries to pick a song and there are anime songs he's thinking oh she wouldn't like a guy who likes anime but then she sits next to him and picks a song and it's an anime song and then they even have a great moment where they sing together even though they both dog shit at singing she then hits the oh it's getting hot in here and then he gets stimulated again and then all his personalities are fighting again on what to do but then apparently a new personality is born right the cool version of him he's like just go for a passionate kiss that's what every girl like i chill man and he kind of goes for it but then she says he has a nose hair and leaves the room we then go outside of the room and we see she was clearly flustered that he tried to kiss her after they get done in the karaoke bar wherever they were right she's like oh, i had a good time the whole time the main character is thinking about how he made a move and failed and he fails down to his knees i i meant falls down to his knees. you know what i meant bro anyway they start walking and then we see a girl from a distance watching now i don't know maybe i should have refreshed my memory on episode one was she in episode one i don't know but either way bro like i said this anime is absolutely weird absolutely terrible but it's hilarious sometimes right uh because i don't take there, i can watch an anime unseriously some people couldn't watch this because they're like bro what is this weird shit? i understand that completely me personally it's just funny bro like there's some weird like the fact
fat dude who's freaking a pedophile. Like, that's kind of crazy. But, so like, I like Hisoka. He's a bit of a pedophile, you know? Like, it's not a good thing. But, you know, like, you know, it's just funny, bro. So, yeah, uh, if you don't take this so seriously, I actually do think you should watch it. But, like, you know, if you if you just want to see something to bold with, then watch the show. But if not, if you like serious stuff or at least serious comedy, then you probably shouldn't watch it.